Eva had always been passionate about music, ever since she was a little girl. Her father had been a talented musician, playing the electric guitar with a passion that inspired Eva to follow in his footsteps. Unfortunately, her father had passed away due to a heart attack while performing on stage, leaving Eva's mother and grandmother traumatized and overprotective of her. Despite their objections, Eva continued to practice her guitar every day, pouring her heart and soul into every note. However, her mother and grandmother were convinced that music had led to her father's death and was fearful of allowing Ava to pursue her passion. Ava's mother and grandmother had become increasingly overprotective and controlling since the death of her father. They didn't want her to follow in his footsteps and pursue a career in music, fearing that it would lead to the same tragic outcome. Ava felt trapped and unsupported in her home environment. She was constantly reminded of her father's death and made to feel guilty for her love of music. Her mother and grandmother would never let her play her guitar for more than a few minutes at a time, convinced that too much playing would cause her harm. Ava tried to reason with them, but they wouldn't listen. She felt like she was living in a prison, unable to express herself through her music. She would often sneak out of the house and go to the park to practice her guitar, but even there she felt like she was being watched by her family's disapproving eyes. As her frustration grew, so did her need to find a way out. She began to dream of a life where she could play her guitar without fear of judgment or disapproval. A life where she could be free to pursue her passion and make a name for herself in the music world. Ava felt trapped, unable to express herself through her music, and unsure of how to convince her family that music was not to blame for her father's passing. She longed for the freedom to play her guitar without fear of judgment or disapproval. As Ava struggled to find a way to reconcile her love for music with her family's objections, she began to feel increasingly alone and misunderstood. It was a warm summer's evening in the town square, and Ava was sitting on a bench, strumming her guitar, lost in thought. As she played, she noticed a boy watching her from a nearby tree. He had a mischievous glint in his eye and a smile on his lips. Ava felt a flutter in her heart as she looked at him. He was tall and handsome, with dark curly hair and olive skin. He wore a black t-shirt and jeans, and he had a pair of drumsticks in his hand. Hey! He said, approaching her. That's a nice guitar you've got there. Thanks. Ava replied, feeling a little shy. I'm Mateo. He said, holding out his hand. I'm Ava. She said, taking his hand. She felt a spark of electricity as they shook hands. Mateo sat down next to her, and they began to chat. He told her that he was from Italy and had come to Spain with his family for the summer. He also revealed that he was a drummer and had always been passionate about music. Ava felt an instant connection with Mateo. They talked for hours, sharing stories about their love of music and their dreams for the future. As the sun began to set, Mateo took out his drumsticks and started to play a beat on the bench. Ava joined in with her guitar, and soon they were playing a duet. Their music blended together in perfect harmony and Ava felt like they were speaking a language that only they could understand. As the night grew darker, they said their goodbyes and promised to meet again. Ava felt a sense of excitement and anticipation for what the future might hold. As she walked home, Ava felt like she had found a kindred spirit in Mateo. She knew that he was someone who would understand her love of music and support her in pursuing her dreams. And as she drifted off to sleep that night, she felt a warmth in her heart that she knew could only be love. The next day, Ava went to the town square again to practice her guitar. As she played, she saw Mateo approaching her from a distance. He had a smile on his face, and he was carrying a set of drumsticks. Hey there Ava. He said, sitting down next to her. Mind if I join you? Of course not. She said feeling her heart skip a beat. As they started to play together, Mateo recognized Ava's talent. He was amazed at how she could make the guitar sing, and he realized that she had a gift for music that was rare and special. You're amazing! 
he said looking at her with admiration. You should really think about pursuing a career in music. Ava felt a surge of emotion at his words. She had always dreamed of making a name for herself in the music world, but her family had always discouraged her. To hear someone like Matteo, who was an accomplished musician himself, recognize her talent and encourage her to pursue her passion, was a dream come true. I don't know. She said feeling a little hesitant. My family doesn't really support my love of music. Well, you've got to follow your heart. Matteo said placing a hand on her shoulder. Don't let anyone else tell you what to do. You're a talented musician, and you deserve to be recognized for your gift. Ava felt sense of hope and determination growing inside her. Matteo's words had given her the courage to pursue her dreams, even if it meant going against her family's wishes. She knew that she had found a true friend in Matteo, someone who believed in her and wanted to see her succeed. As they played together, Ava felt a sense of joy and freedom that she had never felt before. She knew that she had found her calling in life, and she was determined to pursue it with all her heart. As the days went by, Ava and Matteo continued to meet in the town square to play music together. They would spend hours lost in the music, creating beautiful melodies that blended together perfectly. Ava was amazed at how well they played together. Matteo's drumming complemented her guitar playing perfectly, and she felt like they were creating something truly special every time they played. As they played together, Ava and Matteo began to form a connection. They talked about everything and anything, sharing their hopes, dreams, and fears with each other. From that moment on, Ava and Matteo were inseparable. They would play music together, walk hand in hand through the town square, and share their hopes and dreams with each other. They had found love in the most unexpected place, and they knew that they would always be there for each other, no matter what the future held. Ava and Matteo had always shared a love for music, but now that they were together, their passion for music had only grown stronger. They decided to form a band together, combining Ava's guitar skills with Matteo's drumming expertise. They spent countless hours practicing and perfecting their music, experimenting with different styles and techniques. They wrote their own songs, pouring their hearts into every music they made. As they played together, Ava and Matteo's chemistry on stage was undeniable. They complemented each other perfectly, creating a sound that was uniquely theirs. They knew that they had something special, and they were determined to share it with the world. The town was buzzing with excitement as the annual talent competition approached. Ava and Matteo had decided to enter, hoping to showcase their talent and bring their music to a wider audience. They practiced tirelessly, perfecting their performance down to the last detail. They chose one of their original melody songs, a ballad about love and loss that they had written together, and they poured their hearts into every rhythm. As they took the stage, Ava and Matteo could feel the energy of the audience. They started to play, and the music flowed from them effortlessly. Ava's mother watched nervously from the crowd. She had always been wary of Ava's love for music, fearing that it would lead to the same tragic outcome as her father's career as a musician. But as Ava and Matteo began to play, her mother's fears began to fade away. Ava's guitar wove a haunting melody, while Matteo's drums provided the perfect rhythm. The audience was mesmerized, and the judges were blown away. They had never heard anything like it before. Ava and Matteo's performance was electrifying, and it left everyone in the room with chills running down their spines. As the judges deliberated, Ava and Matteo held hands, feeling a sense of anticipation and excitement. They knew that they had given it their all, and they hoped that their hard work would pay off finally, the judges announced the winner of the talent competition, and it was Ava and Matteo. The crowd erupted into cheers and applause, and Ava and Matteo were overcome with emotion. Their performance had earned them a record deal, and they knew that their music career was about to take off. They hugged each other tightly, knowing that they had achieved something truly special together her mother rushed to the stage, tears streaming down her face. You were amazing. She said hugging Ava tightly. I had no idea that you were such a talented musician. Ava was surprised by her mother and smiled, 
feeling a sense of relief wash over her. She had always known that music was her passion, but she had never been able to convince her mother of its worth. But I still don't understand why you love music so much. Her mother said, wiping away her tears. It's not a practical career, and it doesn't benefit a person in any way. Ava felt a sense of frustration rising within her. She had heard this argument from her mother countless times before, and she was tired of trying to explain her love for music. Mom, I obey your orders every time, except this time. I love music, and it's a part of who I am. I want to pursue it, and I believe that I can make a difference through my music. Ava said, her voice firm. Her mother's expression hardened, and Ava knew that she had struck a nerve. But before she could say anything else, her grandmother appeared. Enough, Maria. Her grandmother said, placing a hand on her daughter-in-law's shoulder. Ava has a gift, and it's time for her to fulfill her dream. Her grandmother said, looking at Ava with a beautiful smile. Maria looked at her mother-in-law in surprise. She had always been the one to discourage Ava's love of music, and now she was being overruled by her mother-in-law. But what about her father? His music career led to his downfall I don't want the same thing to happen to Ava. Ava's grandmother smiled, and she reached into a nearby bag. She pulled out an electric guitar, and Ava's eyes widened in surprise. This was your father's guitar. He was the most famous A player in Spain, and he loved music more than anything. He would want Ava to follow in his footsteps and pursue her passion. Her grandmother said, handing the guitar to Ava. Ava was speechless. She had never known her father, and she had never realized that he had been a famous musician. She looked down at the guitar, feeling a sense of awe and wonder. Her grandmother placed a hand on her shoulder, and she looked into Ava's eyes. You have a gift, Ava, and it's time for you to share it with the world. Don't let anyone tell you that music is harmful or that it doesn't benefit a person. Music is the language of the soul, and it has the power to heal and inspire. As the talent competition came to a close, Ava hugged her grandmother tightly, feeling a sense of gratitude and appreciation for everything that she had done for her and she introduced Matteo to her grandmother and mother. As their music career took off, Ava and Matteo's love for each other continued to grow stronger. As the final notes of their concert rang out, Ava and Matteo took their final bow, their faces wreathed in smiles. The crowd was on its feet, cheering and applauding, and Ava and Matteo knew that they had given it their all. As they walked off stage, Matteo took Ava's hand, leading her to a quiet corner of the venue. He looked at her, his eyes shining with love and admiration. Ava, he said, his voice soft, I have something to ask you. Ava's heart skipped a beat. She had a feeling that she knew what was coming, but she couldn't help feeling nervous. Will you marry me? Matteo said, getting down on one knee and pulling out a small box. Ava's eyes widened in surprise as Matteo opened the box, revealing a beautiful diamond ring. She felt a surge of emotion wash over her as she looked at him, knowing that this was the moment that she had been waiting for. Yes, yes thousand times yes she said tears streaming down her face Matteo slipped the ring onto her finger and they embraced feeling a sense of joy and happiness that they had never known before they knew that they had found their soulmate in each other and they were grateful for every moment that they got to spend together making beautiful music and sharing their love with the world as they walked out of the avenue hand in hand Ava and Matteo were greeted by a sea of well-wishers, all congratulating them on their engagement. They smiled and waved, feeling a sense of happiness that they had never known before. As they walked down the street, Ava and Matteo talked about their future together, dreaming of all the things that they would do and all the places that they would go. They knew that they had found something truly special in each other, and they were excited to start their new journey together. They arrived at a nearby park, and Matteo led Ava to a secluded spot by the lake. He pulled out his guitar and they sat down together, playing music and singing songs as the sun set behind them. 